Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. Just got back from Cabo last night. If you guys haven't seen the vlog, go check it out. It was such a great, amazing time with such amazing girls. This morning, we are headed to brunch with Pharmacy Beauty. They're hosting some influencers um, at Maman in Tribeca this morning, and I'm so excited. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> um, and Brooke is also going as well. And then from there, we're going to the Rebecca Taylor showroom. And from there, we're going to the Gals on the Go studio and recording an episode of Gals on the Go. The whole like Cabo trip recap. I'm so excited. Here is my outfit for the day. I love it. It's super comfortable. I wore this in Cabo actually as a swim cover up and now it's like a true outfit. It's from Princess Polly. I will link it below. It's this green silky set. Um, I like tucked it in on one side. The pants fit so perfectly. I love the green, obviously. St. Patrick's Day is on Thursday, and I'm like, I should probably wait till St. Patrick's Day, but I have more green to wear. Um, hair is up. I've been really into wearing my hair in a ponytail, and a lot of you guys have been hyping me up, so love that. Bag is the Stodd Moon bag, and then I'm just wearing Air Force because I'm sorry. Just gotta be uncomfortable to walk around today. It's getting up to like 50-ish degrees, but I obviously need a jacket for now, so I'm gonna figure that out, but we're gonna head over to Maman. I'm so excited to start the day. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, buddy. Running on hours of sleep. We're very tired, but we are here. We, of course, unintentionally matched with like silky bags. I didn't know you were wearing that, but... Oh, I guess so, but whatever. No, this is perfect. No, I like it, it's coordinated. The gals are coordinated. We're at this beautiful Maman right here. So cute, so cute. Guys, we're at one of my favorite spots, Le Pond, right in Bryant Park. This is a great spot. It's a, just this little, no, it's a chain, but I always feel like it's a glorified Panera. We both got the lentil soup, and then we're gonna record. Cheers, bon appetit. Hi guys, we're at the office right now. I literally have the mirror set up. I thought you were gonna say I literally have Brooke right here next to me. I literally have Brooke right next to me. It's so shocking, right? Me next to Brooke. No, no. <laughs> um, my hair got a little messed up, so we're gonna fix it. I literally, this bag actually fits a ton. It really got, does, it's a bag of tricks, guys. She keeps I, pulling things out, like. Yeah, I've got my slick brush. We've got my essential oil, powder, lip balm room key from Mexico. Um, that's why I love it. So we're just gonna, this is the best brush ever you need it. I'm gonna link it below. It's the Boar Bristle Brush. Boar Bristle Brush, it's a tongue twister from Amazon. The brand is Denman. My dad literally purchased one for Frizz, like he loves it. Um, I've been into the ponytails. So we're about to record, we're about to do our ultimate Cabo trip recap. Eh. We have so many notes written down. So many things we want to talk about. Um, and that's that on that. Brooke's getting a good selfie right now. Oh, she's doing a TikTok. Oh, you look good. Sheesh. Anyways, that's I don't the even... catch up. Look how cute our little phone cases I look know. together. Very cute. We're about to start recording the what really happened yeah. in Cabo. <laughs> I love it. Um, got them all set up here. About to turn the ring light on. Got them all lined up. Got them all lined up. Let's go, baby. Guys, we just finished the episode of Gals on the Go this week. Go listen on Spotify or go watch on YouTube, youtube.com slash Gals on the Go podcast. <laughs> oh my God, it was so funny. We like literally went through each day of the trip, talked about it, so many good laughs. If you're just like doing laundry or just need something to listen to or watch, definitely listen to this week's episode. It's called What Really Happened in Cabo. And it was just so fun. It was an hour and 45 minutes long. <laughs> 
So that's when you know we were just getting after it. So go listen to Gals on the Go. I'm about to close up shop here. We're gonna turn off the lights and we keep it pretty clean in here. We always just keep the tripods up, so that's great. Um, so yeah, today's Tuesday. I don't know if I said that because we got back on Monday. So I'm gonna head back. I have to unpack. I have um, some packages in the mail and I have lots of like admin stuff I need to do. I wanna call my mom back. We keep playing phone tag. Um, just lots of stuff on my computer, just random stuff. I would really like to be unpacked today. So we'll see if that happens. I have a call at six. Oh, and then Ryan and I have a date night tonight. I completely forgot. Three years into dating and I still get the butterflies. It's really fun. Um, we're going to dinner at Serendipity 3 tonight. So it should be fun. They're like known for their desserts. So I was like, Ryan, be ready for desserts. But I think it's like an American restaurant. So I think they have like burgers and stuff. But yeah, that's that. This set was such a hit on the Insta today. You guys really liked it on my stories. So comfy. I have oil stains absolutely everywhere, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, Brooke's just in the bathroom. And then we're gonna head back and I'll check in with you guys soon. Oh, I also need groceries. Do you want the tour? Yeah, Brooke's giving us a tour of her balcony. Welcome to my balcony. I can't believe Jana hasn't seen it all like put together. This is yeah. so gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm in the one hotel right now. So this is like, so the plants, oh they're gosh. fake plants, but they like blow around. So we put them all in this corner. So when it's not windy, like if I was having people over tonight, I would like take them out and put them all over yeah. the place to make it look cute. But yeah, a little bunched up here. <laughs> Just go over there. <laughs> Got my green thumb today. Yep. Wait, dude, this is such a vibe with the it's wood panels. Yeah, it is. Right? Oh my gosh, and the candle Margot got you. Yes, right? This table. I um, oh. just kick your legs up and relax. Out here. <laughs> I'm gonna put up some string lights still, and I'm waiting oh, for a table in the cute. corner. And like, but I feel like it this be, is great for storage. Uh, the rug. Yeah. You know, and there's the, too much stuff to not have storage out here, like, uh, like the covers for the furniture and stuff. Definitely, and this, so you're gonna have a table there? Yes, a little high top. high top in the corner. You can literally come out here during the summer and eat and read and no, drink coffee. It's perfect weather right now to be out here. Yeah, this, it's gonna be done just in time. Spring is in the air. I mean, look Hello, at this. Hello, New York. Hello, New York, king of the world. <laughs> Dude, this looks amazing, Thank seriously. You. Sierra. Sierra. <laughs> I had no part of it, I just, she gave me three options of like layout one, two, or three. Yeah. And all I did was pick, yeah. Sierra Belanger Interiors, guys, she has crushed it. She did my apartment, she did Margot's apartment, she did Brooke's balcony, I mean. She did our gals in the go office, I, I mean. I know, she's just. She's so good. I'm my house one day. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, I'm like, you're doing my house. Like, just so you're aware. Oh, I didn't see this little guy, little guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, why don't have, like, a little side table? A little pop of color. Yeah. Kind of vibe. Oh, I'm seeing the pop of blue. Dude, this looks amazing. Congrats on the Thank new place. You. Thank you. <laughs> Time to fill out today's doing well daily. Today's quote kindness begins with understanding we all struggle. So true. Everyone's going through their own thing. You never know exactly what's going on. So it's always too soon to judge, I think. Um, all right, I'm gonna fill this out and write down everything I have to get done. I've got stuff just everywhere, need to unpack. I have like a couple hours at home. I'm literally just gonna put on a podcast, put my hair up, get after it, and then we have date night with Ryan. Just thought I'd update you guys. I decided to take off my makeup. I'll just redo it later because it was so dry. I didn't even realize. I don't know if you tell in the vlog clubs, right here was like dry and peely. Um, I guess it's because of a sunburn. So, oh, and I just opened PR. I got this super cozy robe from Babe. You guys know I love their drinks so much. I just put on this. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Slathered it all over my face. Super, super moisturizing and then I just got some PR also from Aquaphor, which I love. So I just used this um, Repair and Protect Lip Protectant, and it also has sunscreen in it too. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I'm currently just unboxing, unpacking. I'm getting hungry, but Ryan and I are getting dinner in a couple hours. I just had an apple. That's what's happening. Okay, so I just got off two phone calls and I redid my makeup. My skin is literally peeling. You can't really tell in the video on either side, so it looks like I have a lot of dandruff, but it's okay. I think I moisturized pretty well. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. I'm about to head over to Serendipity 3 with Ryan for dinner, and I was trying to figure out what shoes to wear. I think I'm still in like a beachy Mexico mood, but it's 57 degrees outside, and I wanna wear some cute heels, and I remembered that my package just came from Dolce Vita. I was targeted on an Instagram ad. You guys know how much I love. 
I think they're called the Paley heels or the Pally heels and they just came out with platform versions of these heels They're like the braided heels They're just the comfiest things ever and you guys know how much I love platform So I literally have these heels, but just not the platform edition, but I had to get them So I'm always looking for a little more height and these look super comfortable because I know the other ones are and I was like, this would go with my outfit for tonight. A little a little date night vibe. I'm not wearing mascara. Maybe I should. My lash lift and tint starting to fade. But I just, I don't know. So I'm wearing this top. It's from Revolve a while ago. And then I'm wearing these Spanx jeans. They're little flare jeans. So flattering on the bootay. And we've been wearing this like Spanx bra. It's so comfortable. Okay, let's try on these shoes with it. Oh my gosh, so cute. Cause these pants are like a little long on me. That's just like how it, how it goes being 5'3". Oh, these are so cute. I will link these shoes below. Let me give you guys a full length mirror video here. Okay, so here is tonight's look. Ponytail is back. Hoop earrings are from Stone and Strand. Like I said, the Spanx jeans, I'll link them below. And then these shoes. They just look so cute on, they're perfect. Just a fun little Tuesday night, or yeah, Tuesday night fit. All right, we're starting off with queso. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is epic. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I got sangria, Ryan got beer. I'm so excited. We got the famous frozen hot chocolate and also the shamrock frozen hot chocolate. We gotta see what the hype is all about. This is crazy. Okay, you guys, I have, I literally, so Ryan and I had so much fun. We came home, I, it's the Bachelor finale, so I watched last night's episode. And then I rushed to watch tonight's episode because I did not want to see it spoiled on Instagram. So obviously I just saw what happened. I'm not going to ruin it for you guys in case you haven't seen it. But yeah, that was just dramatic in itself. And now I'm about to find out who the next Bachelorette is. And I am so excited. So let's see. America. Who will the next Bachelorette be? I want to know. When I say this decision was the hardest we've ever had to make, it was the hardest we've ever had to make. It's also not Rachel. Oh, I love Rachel. It's Gabby and Rachel. What? What? How are they going to do that? Gabby and Rachel, both bachelorettes. Honestly, they're both bomb and I cannot wait, but like, what are they gonna have to fight for guys? I gotta show the chills. The show is so silly, but I continue to watch. Just made myself some sleepy time tea. Gonna blow out the candles I unpacked. It's looking lovely in here. That was a crazy end to Bachelor. Um, I'm going to hop in to bed now. Got my tea, got my water. Turn on the red lights, of course. And I'm going to read a little bit of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I fell asleep reading it last night. I literally woke up in the middle of the night with my book in my lap and my red lights on. So I might have to go back a couple pages. But I'm going to start my night routine on my hatch, which it basically just shows another red light and plays peaceful music for 30 minutes. I'm usually asleep by the time it's done, which is nice. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody, it's Wednesday morning. Before I went to bed last night, I ordered Instacart to be delivered this morning. I never thought I'd be someone to order groceries, but living in New York City has changed me in that regard. Gotta love it. Listening to this week's episode of Gals and the Goat, drinking some decaf coffee out of my Gals and the Goat mug. I have a workout, so I don't really wanna drink real coffee. Trying to stay hydrated. Um, I'm going through my Cabo vlog too that I'm about to post. By the time you're watching this, this is up. But yeah, good morning. All right, we're headed to the gym. First workout post vacation. Set active top. It's only, it's not only, it is 60 degrees outside. So we love that. So I'm just wearing this jacket from Boohoo. Lululemon leggings, Hoka sneakers, Amazon crew socks, 
my sod bag, we're gonna go work out, and then my friend Ellie, Ellie Thuman, is in New York for a month, and she has to get lunch. So I'm gonna meet her right after. So I was trying to dress semi-cute for lunch after. I think we're just gonna go to like two hands or somewhere casual, but yeah, oh, sunglasses are YSL. Let's go. I decided it is clean the sheets day because my like self tan is kind of on the sheets so we're gonna put these in the wash I have I like can't find another I thought I had a double everything so I could just replace and wash this and then like store it for later but I only have an extra like fitted sheet I don't think I have an extra top sheet so I have to wash the top sheet wash the pillowcases but I have more pillowcases too so I'll just replace I need to get my duvet um, or my comforter washed but it literally will not fit in my washer so i have to like carry it somewhere so i don't know if i'm gonna do that today but we're gonna strip the bed i just finished getting ready i showered i washed my hair I didn't even run the straightener through it. I literally just used my Dyson Air Up and it did pretty well. The back of my hair is still kind of wet, but we're running out of time. So, um, about to go see a show. It's called The Plaza Suite. I am literally so excited. Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick, they're married in real life and they're the stars of this show and they're only doing it for the month of March. So I am so pumped. I try to channel my inner sex in the city for my outfit. I still don't know what I'm gonna wear for shoes. But I'm just so excited, a little Wednesday night activity. I love a show, so. <laughs> I love this fit, um, so fun. I'm wearing this midi dress from Lioness. It's so cute, I've been waiting to wear it when it was a little bit warmer out. And I styled it with this blue blazer that I believe is also from Lioness. My green Bottega bag with my green Steve Madden shoes. It's been a little moment for me lately. Let's go see a show, it's showtime. Hi guys, I just got back from the show. It was so good. It was three acts and it was Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick the whole time and there were three other characters, but they played different couples in each act and it was so funny. It was so crazy like seeing them up close, like as soon as they came on stage, we were all like, wow, you know? Um, and it was honestly so hysterical and just amazing. It was just like funny. It was about three different couples that are staying in a suite in the Plaza Hotel uh, back in like the late 60s. So it was really, really interesting and really, really good. I love going to see a show. So that was really, really awesome. I'm about to get into my PJs and I was about to say get in bed, but <laughs> just realized my bed is not made. I left my sheet. My sheets are in the dryer. So I get to make my bed. So that's the one good thing when you do it before you go to bed. It's like, it has to be done because you're getting into bed. So it's pressuring me into getting it done. So that's that. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I just put on some vitamin C serum. Coffee is being made. I'm gonna put on some eye patches. It is 
Thursday, also known as St. Patrick's Day. I'm one of those pinchers. I'm pinching you if you're not wearing green. It might be my Irish blood in me. Carolyn is Irish if you guys did not know. Anyways, I wake up to a text from Ryan and he's like, good morning, which he does every morning because he's usually up before me because of work. But then he goes, call me when you're up. And so I'm like, oh my God, what happened? You know, like something's wrong because I don't know, he doesn't usually do that. Like call me when you're up, um, which is always just an alarming text to get. So I call him right away. I'm like, hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. Like, is everything okay? And he was like, uh, he stayed so professional. I guess he's like working right now. So he's like in work mode. But he was like, yes, yeah, so if you don't mind checking your email and filling out the bracket before noon, that would be really, really awesome. Um, he's just like, I've, as you can see in your email, per my email, or he was saying some shit like that. And I was like, what? So it's March Madness. And when Ryan and I first started dating, was in March, um, three years ago, and he like sent me a bracket, and so I joined it, um, and we like haven't done it since. So <laughs> he wants to have a, like a bracket with just me and him, like a pool, I guess. So it's gonna be me against him. So I have to, I'm gonna drink my coffee and make my bracket. Are any of you guys doing this also for guys or for girls? Like, please let me know. Um, but it's fun, and I think last time I literally just like had it do an automated thing. But today I'm gonna pick. So, I don't know. It's always fun to have little games against each other. So, gonna do that, wearing my Barefoot Dreams robe. It's raining. Today we are headed to the American Dream Mall <laughs> because I am literally obsessed with the American Dream Mall. I don't know if I was vlogging that day. I think Brooke was, but I definitely was doing stories. I am just obsessed. It's in New Jersey. It has all the nicest stores you could possibly think of and more. There's literally a water park there. But I am working with Primark actually and they don't ship online to the US. They only do in store and they have one in New Jersey. That's the closest one to me. And when I saw it was an American Dream, I was like, let's go. Well, it was either that or one in Brooklyn and I was like, I'm, I'm going to American Dream. So I'm going there to pick out some outfits because I'm doing a really cool campaign with them. So yeah, that's gonna be our day and it's perfect because it's raining. And then hopefully tonight doing something for St. Patrick's Day. I need to wear green. I'm gonna grab my computer here. Set up shop. <laughs> Set up shop to make my bracket. Coffee. Love that for us. I just lit my new candle. This smells like my vagina by Gwyneth Paltrow at Goop. It's so good. It literally smells amazing. I'm feeling a yogurt parfait this morning for breakfast. So I've got blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, this granola from Trader Joe's that I absolutely love. And I'm trying this Greek yogurt from Wegmans because that's what I got on Instacart. Voila. Looks amazing. All right, so I just got an order from GoPuff. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. I've been doing these Instagram stories, um, a little segment I like to call Beverage of the Week because you guys know I'm that girl that's drinking three beverages at a time. And a follower that works over at GoPuff, shout out, was like, hey, I'll give you some credit if you want to try some new drinks from GoPuff. And I was like, that's so sweet. So I picked out six different drinks that I'm going to try throughout the next few weeks on my Instagram stories. The first one, this is kind of weird, but I love trying different types of water and I've never heard of this. This is Formula 4 Oxygen Boosted Water for Faster Recovery. Very excited about this, so I'll be trying this in one of the segments. Also, I've heard things about this Koya Keto plant-based keto shake, and it's I think it's like a protein shake. Yeah, it has 12 grams of protein, and I got the chocolate brownie flavor. Also trying the Waterloo um, sparkling water in lemon lime. This is cloud water plus immunity. It's blood orange and coconut organic sparkling beverage with immunity support. Love that. So many cool fun beverages, right? This one is, I thought this was cool. It's called Drink Your Meditation by the brand Moment. And it has ashwagandha and L-theanine, which are two supplements I've taken in the past. I still take ashwagandha. So it says drink your meditation. I think that is so cool. And lastly, another sparkling water. This is called AHA Sparkling Water. This is blueberry and pomegranate. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try all these beverages out. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Hopefully try one today to start it all off. 
All right, the green outfit of the day for St. Patty's Day for going to American Dream Mall. I've been waiting to wear this blazer. I was wearing it last summer because it's a nice light one, but it's perfect, so I'm gonna be inside all day and it's raining, so I don't really need a jacket because I'm just going from car to inside. Very comfy, yet green outfit. Top is Zara, blazer is Sturettes. These jeans are from Aeropostale, you guys. I will link them down below. They're the Aeropostale mom jeans. I'm wearing a size six. They're just a nice, like, straight leg moment. They actually fit me. That's always exciting. Earrings, stone and strand. Hair, I just like brush through honestly. And then my um, and then my Nike Air Forces. I was trying to decide between the bag, but I was like, why wouldn't I use my green bag today, you know? So we're gonna go to American Dream. I told Ryan I'd get him a green shirt because he doesn't have any green shirts. And we might like go to a pub or something tonight. I don't really know the vibes. But yeah, we're gonna get some clothes at Primark. I'm really excited about that. And they just have some really cool stores. They have the huge Aritzia. I've never been shopping there. I just like went for an event. So I'm excited to check it out. So. Okay, these literally look like the Coach puffer bags. I'm obsessed. And then this. So cute guys, Primark is kind of really lit right now. Like, so cute. I currently have a cart full of stuff, just get ready. Okay, so I just got back and I put on my Instagram story like guys, everyone run to Primark, they have so many cute stuff. And everyone was asking for a haul. So I just did this on my Instagram story, but if you guys didn't see, I'm highlighting just a few things because I got like a ton of outfits and I don't want to spoil them because they're like inspired by things. But I got some random stuff too and some of this is for those outfits, but look at these. Nine dollars. These are like those pillow slides. So cute. They're very similar to the Yeezy inspired ones that I have, but I loved this style. This crew neck, positive energy, like it screams happiness. Love this bag. So cute for going out or for dinner just to add something to your fit. It's white or like off-white. I like how there's no hardware, so you can wear it with gold or silver. These sunglasses are from one of the outfits that I'm wearing. $3.50. They're literally a dupe for that YSL ones. Two dollars, super cute gold thick hoop earrings. This hair scarf I think is so fun. It shows all the different ways you can wear it. Perfect for spring. And lastly, this is for one of the outfits I'm doing too. But how fabulous are these boots? Thick heel, so comfortable. So yeah, those are a couple things I got. And then I have more over here. Oh, and I also got this pink bag for one of the outfits I'm styling, but like, look how cute. It's giving Balenciaga. Um, so yeah, you'll see the rest on my Instagram. Go follow me at Danielle Carolyn. Spanx just sent me some stuff. I'm like, I got to pick all this out, so I'm excited. They just came out with, well, I don't know if they just did, but I just found out that they have skorts. These like white flare jeans are the same blue ones I have, but in white. This romper, it's like a ribbed, simple romper. Biker shorts, we love that. These like flowy pants. There's just a lot going on. And then this came in the mail. I think they're a podcast sponsor, but it's giving Dyson. It's like a blow dryer. It's so cool. <laughs> so that's what's going on here. I just got off FaceTime with Delaney. <laughs> my gosh, also I went to Sephora. I already put it in my freezer, but I got the Charlotte Tilbury um, cryo mask. It's so nice because it comes in this little nylon case. I love this though because it's obviously reusable and you put it on your face and it has these like cooling beads and the lady at Sephora was like, you are absolutely going to die, it's amazing. It has um, like acupressure, I think that is, like certain um, pressure points for your forehead. I just feel like if you're hungover and you put this baby on, like this is so cool. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. You guys know how I love some facial tools. Also at Primark, they had this at the checkout line and I was like, I simply need this. So that happened. Oh, and also I tried this oxygen water and I just keep downing it. But I'm also at the same time drinking kombucha. So, but it's so good. It's electrolytes, oxygen boosted for faster recovery. Oh, and I'm just telling you guys all kinds of things right now. This hand sanitizer, having a ton of different scents, is amazing. It's like power mist, touchland. Highly suggest if you're on the market for new hand sani. All right, it's St. Patrick's Day. I feel as though I need to go to a pub and drink a beer. So that's what we're gonna do. I just changed up my outfit a little bit, add a little bit more makeup. Here is tonight's fit. I just didn't feel like wearing a blazer. <laughs> so I'm wearing this that I bought at Primark today. I overlined my lips today. Black crop top from like, I forget where. Bomber jacket is from Boohoo. 
jeans, the same Aeropostale ones I was wearing earlier. Then I had to break out my green Jordans, obviously. And then I think I'm gonna do this green bag instead today. I gotta use all of, up all my green bags, right? So this is the fit, I think it's great. Ryan literally doesn't have a single green shirt. So when I was at Primark, I saw this was like 10 bucks and it's just like a nice everyday shirt anyways. He loves it. So I picked this up for him. He was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. He didn't want to be left out of the, the green crew. So I don't really know. I think my friend Seb is going to join us and like his roommates, super chill last minute. But when I was like coming back from American Dream, I saw everyone in their little green outfits going into pubs and I was like, I got to do it. I'm not going to stay out late. I have a workout in the morning, but here is the nighttime at St. Patty's Day fit. Actually, does this look weird? It definitely looks weird with this, but like when else am I gonna wear this, so. He likes the shirt. Thank you. It looks great. <laughs> He's gonna go get a new jacket, but yep. it looks good. Green, I won't be pinching you anymore. Mm. I should have pinched you when you walked in, that would've been silly. Oh yeah. It's pizza time, yum, yum, yum. Just got home. It was such a fun, random, spontaneous night. Made sleepy time tea. Gonna chug some water. I didn't drink too much. I had like two beers. Um, literally made friends with subscribers. They were so cool and hung out with them. And then my friend Cade and some of his friends joined and my friend Jazz came. It was just a great night all together. And I was in and out by 11.30. We love that. So I'm gonna head to bed. We have a workout in the morning. Um, see you guys then. I'm gonna read. All right, it's leg day. Hi, Jane. Let's get it. Workout is done. It was honestly so difficult today. She added some heavier weights. Um, but we're pushing through. I think I'm gonna go stop at Pressed for some juices. Wow, I can't believe I just got two free shots and two free juices. It's a good Friday. Guys, I literally have the most insane luck. Last time I went to press, I had like a free juice because of my membership. Like I bought so many juices, the next one was free. Today I go in, they're giving out free juice duos because of some new show that's starring Anne Hathaway and Jared Leto. And then, so I got two free juices and one of the juices that was free was the one I was gonna get, Greens 3. And then I was like, and I'll also get two ginger shots. She's like, okay, you'll have to pay for those. And I, I got the two free shots because that was for my membership. I got two free shots next time I came. So I just, I mean, that was like a $40 order there. I just got free. <laughs> Love that. All right, we are back from my day. I stopped at, well, you guys saw I got the juices. I stopped at Whole Foods. I got some blue hydrangeas at Whole Foods. And I went into Whole Foods because I realized the other day when I Instacart, I didn't get bread. And I love bread. So I got some bread alone sourdough. I've seen lots of people post about it. And then I got some more avocado oil spray for my pan. And then I got some pens. Very exciting stuff. I have literally so many beverages in here. It's so funny. So I have this thing, which is the juice thing that they gave me. So I got the greens three, which it came with. And then citrus too, which I've never had, but those are the two that oh, those were the two that came free. And of course, two little ginger shots. I need to make some more ginger shots at home. Um, and then I have my kombucha and my water from earlier. Beverage queen over here. Um, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I think I have a piece of toast. I just had like an egg this morning, and I'm feeling like I need some some ground. I need some carbs in me. Then we're gonna shower and then I'm shooting one of the looks that I got from Primark yesterday with my friend Erica, she's coming to help me. Um, it's a Hailey Bieber inspired outfit. I can't wait to show you guys like the comparison. Um, and then after that, we're kind of done for the day. So it's a beautiful day outside. It was, I literally 
took off my jacket. I was just wearing this. I was like hot. So if that says anything. All right, toast is in the toaster. I decided before I shower, I might as well like clean and get my life together because I don't have to be ready till like three to shoot. So I'm going, I like loaded most of the dishwasher yesterday and unloaded it as well, but I need to load it again. I need to refill my supplements. I also got this in the mail. I really want to try it. It's um, Beam, it'd be amazing. And it's like a greens powder, kind of like Athletic Greens vibes, but it's chocolate flavored. But I need milk. Oh, I meant to get that today, like soy milk to try it with. Supposedly it tastes like chocolate milk. Also, I want to try this, lots of wellness stuff right now. Vital Proteins came out with collagen gummies and they're grape flavor. If you know me, you know how much I love grape. So I'm excited to try that as well. Um, oh, I need to refill my butter dish. Oh, I wish I had put it out this morning. I like I like to um I like to have my butter softened. I literally love Kerry Gold so much. Come for me, I don't care. Um <laughs> and I was also just reminiscing on my uh fridge. The beverage to food ratio is insane in here. I think I have way more drinks than food. I mean that's all beverages up there. And <laughs> like, isn't this hilarious? I mean, beverages everywhere. I'm icing you guys right now. Do it! Kidding. Joking. Also just realized I have a fashion pass order to return and then I'm shipping some stuff to my friend Sophia. She's going to Coachella and some of my stuff I wore in combo. She was like, I want to try. So we're going to do some, we're going to do a FedEx run before I even shower too. Lots to be done. Oh, and I need to put these in a vase. And that mess needs to be cleaned. <laughs> we'll be in here for a minute, folks. Look how good these flowers look. I'm watching younger while I clean, but look how pretty. That takes focus. I think I love this one because it's so compact. I got it at Nordstrom, but I'm thinking I need to get a bigger one. Let's see if these even shut. Mmm. Like, kind of, but it would be a little bit easier if I got mm, a bigger one. These are the ones I'm taking today. I just, like, made myself an extra one. <laughs> but it feels so good to fuel my body with good supplements. Whenever I leave my apartment, I like to do as much as I can. So I'm gonna take the trash out, bringing this with me because I'm um, going to return it. And I need to bring my suitcase down because I unpacked it from Cabo. I finally took off my heart wreath that my mom sent me. It was so sweet for my Valentine's Day wreath. So I think it's time to take that down. And I still have my um, uh, Christmas, New Year's wreath <laughs> also. Here, so I'm gonna bring this all down at the same time. I love a clear entry path. Um, I put these LaCroix in my fridge when I have room because as you guys know, lots of beverages <laughs> in my fridge. If you know, you know, physical comedy. The podcast listeners know. And then this, I'm trying to figure out. I wanna try it out, but I also have one really similar. So, I'm trying to decide. I might see if my mom wants it because it's really, really cool. I think I wanna be crazy and not wear a jacket because I'm warm. And I'm pretty sure it's pretty warm outside right now. Ooh, I can't believe this. This is like March and we're doing this. Literally, thank God for my storage unit. I'm able to put so much stuff in here. I've said it like five times already, but guys, it's so nice out. No jacket. I'm literally like hot. I want to like lay on my roof and get some vitamin D. This is amazing. It is the most stunning day outside. I ordered some dig for lunch and I was like... I don't have a lot of time, but I'm gonna eat it no matter what, so why not eat it outside? It feels so amazing out right now. I, I can't get over this. Um, so I just wanna soak it up as much as I can because it's such a mood booster, like being in the sun. I wonder what the UV is right now. Got my water. Got my dig. I think I'm gonna make dinner for myself tonight. Oh baby, I got broccoli, I'll show you guys. I get what I always get, 
broccoli, chicken, brown rice, and mac and cheese. It's so good. Hello, New York. Hello, sunshine. Ugh, it's so beautiful out. All right, we're all Haley Beavered up. Um, I want to show you guys this lip combo I've been doing. I've done it for a while, but I got a lot of comments and responses to my Instagram story. So, I use Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut, and I overline my lips. And then I add Pat McGrath Flesh Fantasy Lip Gloss. A whole vibe. It makes you look like you got lip fillers and I most certainly do not, so we love that. Oh, I totally didn't put powder on my face. I've been doing this thing because I'm using a lot of like cream makeup where I like put the powder on at the end just where it's needed and I totally just did put it on and I can tell. And it's actually like a kind of warm day. So today would be a day to make sure I have a little powder on. I'm just using this Charlotte Tilbury air airbrush flawless finish and just putting it on like my T-zone, a little under my eyes. I know it was a little bit, but that's funny. I was like, I look extra, extra oily right now. Yay, okay, I'm gonna show you guys my full Hailey Bieber outfit. I'm like so hyped that I recreated this. So for reference, here is the photo. It's super chill, but like so chic, and I loved her hair in this, so that's why I tried to recreate that. I just love this moment. So here is the final look. I feel like it looks a lot like Haley's outfit. I'm so excited, I'm about to go to Soho. My friend Erica is gonna help me take some pictures. I literally wanna make it like Haley's on her phone. Like, I don't know, I'm just trying to be cool girl, okay? <laughs> um, so go follow me on Instagram. This probably isn't up yet, but I wanted to shoot the content today. It's such a beautiful day and I'm having so much fun recreating this look. So let me know if you guys want me to do more celebrity recreation looks. Like this whole outfit is Primark. It was probably like $80 for literally everything on my body except for the sneakers. Like the earrings, the sunglasses, the bag, the tank, the jack, I mean literally everything. So I think that is very impressive. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head to Soho. All right, walking in Soho now, just shot with Erica. I made a funny TikTok like pretending to be Hailey Bieber, like took paparazzi videos. It was so funny. Soho is so packed right now. Fridays in Soho makes sense. I'm gonna stop by Aloe. I'm gonna get a workout set if they have the one I'm looking for. Then we're gonna head home. We're at the Gals in the Go office. I stopped by because I had to pee. And I was like, well, I'll show you guys what I got at Aloe. I got this really cute set at Aloe that I was eyeing online. It's so, I'm just obsessed with it. So, it comes in brown and I think also like a gray or something. This is the top, I got it in a medium. It's brown with like some like dark, I guess they're like black stripes, but I just love the cut. And then the bottoms obviously match, but they flare out. So like you can wear this to, you know, like a yoga class um, or like a, like, I mean, I wouldn't do like cardio on this because it has like the, flare ends or like this would be so cute i was like i could throw my black blazer over this that's perfect for on the go i'm just really into this and i had to have it i didn't try it on so we shall see but if not i can easily come back and return it i also love that they give you these tote bags with purchase i don't know if they're always doing that or they just did that today i already have one of these so now i have two of them they're so great for groceries they're just such a great little strap um we're gonna walk back now. It's a nice long walk. I literally had so much fun taking photos. Um, Erica was like, let's pretend you're Hailey Bieber. So I was taking like paparazzi videos. I'm like gonna make a TikTok out of it. It was just so funny. I was just living my best life. <sighs> so yeah, I just thought I'd check in. We're gonna head back. Um, my friends are having a little housewarming get together tonight because they just finally finished their apartment in the West Village. Um, and I have a lot of emails to respond to before the end of the week. Let's go for a little walk. Enjoy this nice weather while, it, while it's still here. Just got back and immediately wanted to try on this aloe set. I love it, the medium top and the medium's bottom. Medium bottoms fit perfectly. I love the cut, wait, I feel like it's really dark in here. Let's switch to this mirror. I just love the cut so much. I love the pants. So cute, would be so cute with like a black blazer over top or again, just on its own. It's giving trouser, but it's like a athleisure set. So, love that. 
planning my outfit for tonight. It's so lovely out. And Veronica Beer just sent me this beautiful dress and then this tank top. And I feel as though this is such a fun little Friday night top. I could wear some jeans and like some boots, throw over a blazer. I feel like that's a fun vibe and yeah. So that is the end of this vlog. I wanna make sure it gets up this Sunday. So we've got a quick turnaround, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the afternoon, cleaning, doing work on my computer, editing, all the fun stuff. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for next week's video. Bye.